Hello and welcome to NWSL Talk here on Women's Football Talk. Now before we get into this video, make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours. So what will NWSL Talk be? Well, each week we will look at all the key talking points from the NWSL across the pond, whether it be looking at the games that have happened, looking at a big player's performance, whether it be contracts, extensions, injuries, you name it, we'll try and cover it each week here on the Women's Football Talk talk youtube channel so this week it is the opening weekend of the nwsl with two games taking place on saturday and four others taking place on sunday but before we look ahead to this weekend's fixtures let's have a look at some of the talking points that have happened already this week so on uh, thursday slash friday uk time uh, the Portland Forwards announced that Janine Becky will miss the 2023 season due to an ACL tear she suffered in the team's pre-season game. Uh, so that's obviously a massive loss to the Portland Thorns as they looked to hold on to their championship after a fantastic 2022 season. Uh, so losing Janine Becky is absolutely a horrible thing for the Thorns, but uh, still expect them to be a big uh, team in the end of Wissau competing for that championship again so it's going to be a very very interesting uh, to see how they do without Janine Becky. Elsewhere another sad injury ACL as well Emily Gray of the North Carolina Courage has uh, suffered an ACL injury so she will also be out for uh, this season for the NWSL side the North Carolina Courage so it's a big big blow there for um, both sides losing players before the season has even started and another bit of uh, news came out this past weekend was that Carly Telford has announced her retirement um, before the San Diego Wave season gets underway this weekend so a fantastic career spanning across many countries and many many years and we wish Carly Telford all the best in retirement. So let's have a look at this weekend's fixtures so starting off we have the North Carolina Courage against the Kansas City current on Saturday that is the first game and then San Diego Wave take on the Chicago Red Stars in the later evening game there and then on Sunday we have the Washington Spirit taking on OL Reign and we sell champions Portland Thorns they play host to Orlando Pride and then we have Houston Dash versus Racing Louisville and then Angel City versus New York City F New York City got uh, New Jersey Gotham FC so um, what are going to be the things to look out for this weekend well, in that last game between Angel City and Gotham FC, we'll potentially see the number one draft pick, Alyssa Thompson, the 18-year-old, make her league debut. Fantastic prospect coming out of college, uh, really hotly looked at and uh, already making a mark on the international scene with uh, the United States and doing well in pre-season for uh, Angel City getting a goal in the opening 10 minutes there so that's uh, one side to look at it. If we flick over to uh, Gotham FC they've obviously made some uh, signings this off-season with it being the first ever free agency in the NWSL so bringing in uh, Lynn Williams was traded there they managed to bring in Kelly O'Hara as well so uh, big couple of months past for Gotham FC and obviously having Christy Mewis there a lot of US talent pull there but could that hinder them this season when it comes to uh, international stages and obviously the World Cup later on this year it remains to be seen the Washington Spirit they have a new head coach in former Portland Thorns and Netherlands head coach Mark Parsons uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how the Washington Spirit go there. Obviously losing Kelly O'Hara and Emily Sonic to OL Reign, their opponents this week, and Kelly O'Hara, as we mentioned, going to uh, Gotham FC. Um, it's a lot more rounded team. It seems like they've gone a lot more youthful with uh, the players that they've got and some of their draft picks. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how Mark Parsons' side get on there. Portland Thorns, as we mentioned, they play the Orlando Pride, uh, looking to go back to back in terms of uh, winning the NWSL championship and expect a big season as usual from Sophia Smith after a fantastic uh, 2022 season for the youngster and then finally uh, San Diego Wave can Alex Morgan help Casey Stoney size to a first ever NWSL championship title and can she continue to fire on all cylinders like she did last season after a fantastic inaugural season for San Diego Wave FC. So that are just some of the talking points to look forward to this weekend on the NWSL. Uh, obviously in the States, if you're over there, you're able to watch it on the TV channels that there are available. But for international, view international viewers, 
uh, head over to nwslsoccer.com where you'll be able to watch all of the games this weekend. So that is the NWSL to look forward to this weekend and it is going to be a fantastic season. Other news that they have announced this weekend, uh, this past off season, is that the Utah Royals will be coming back into the NWSL in 2024. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see how they get on going uh, when they come back. And there's obviously more, a couple more franchises on the brink of coming into the NWSL in future seasons. So we will have plenty to talk about from the action across the pond. But make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video on the NWSL and other stuff from around the world of women's football and that you're following us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories as and when it happens. And in the meantime, we'll see you soon.